So recently I mentioned that I'm getting bored of supercars in GTA 5 because they're all just a bit boring and samey, but do you know what? I think this one might be a contender to change my mind. Let's find out. So hello everyone. Today we are going to be checking out the Krieger, which I believe is probably based on some sort of Bugatti. Just going by the basic looks of it, very German VW styling. Definitely got those Bugatti vibes, definitely a bit of like Audi vibes with those rear lights as well. I mean, it's all the same company, let's be honest. But this one actually looks quite nice. I'm, I'm quite a fan. So let's just go ahead, park up, give this a quick listen. Let's just listen. Not bad. Let's just park up and see what we can do with this. Okay, we haven't been to the gritty side of Los Santos to look around cars for a while, so here we go. Okay, so instantly I'm noticing that there is no hood, there's nothing under here. And there is no trunk. There's nothing under here. So this is yet another supercar that's just not bothered to have a hood and a trunk. And to be honest, do we really care? It, it, it doesn't matter. This is one less thing to look at, I guess. The interior is literally the exact same as what we had in the Emirates. I'm pretty sure they look very similar, at least. Uh, again, with no rear window as well. Yeah, this is a pretty boring bog standard interior that I'm sure is taken out of a different car as well. Yep, that's, that's that covered. The doors lift upwards, though. Gold wing which is always nice. So let's have a look at what parts we have then. So let's go to menus, customs, and first of all, I just wanna go ahead and change the paints, just make them a little bit brighter, cause I want to look at the liveries first. I know you guys have a go at me sometimes. Oh, it's actually, is this two-tone? Or is this, oh no, this is just carbon. Okay, I thought for a minute there we had a two-tone car going on. Yeah, you guys have been moaning at me because I've been not changing the color before the liveries, so here we go. So we have the black stripe, which also adds it down the bottom as well, I'm noticing. Then we have the white stripe, Right there, which also adds that white stripe along the side. It goes along the roof, and it ends in a double stripe at the back. Then we have the Germanic stripes. Interesting. Okay. We have the Sisanta Nove. Okay, this is supposed to be like the um, is it Louis Vuitton. Is it Louis Vuitton? You know what I mean? That sort of thing that people have on bags and, and whatever. Sisanta Nove. Okay. Uh, well, it definitely makes it look a little bit more expensive and gross i guess we also have this in an alternative color as well just a little bit paler which isn't too bad then we have the ltd number 51 nothing exciting really just some stickers stuck on we also have junk the quick fix i don't know what this is in reference to and i'm not really too sure on the style either i think i'm just not really someone who is that into quite a lot of liveries because most liveries just don't excite me but we also have that in red we have the rim paint color range. Okay, so for, for a livery, this one isn't bad. This one's pretty shocking and interesting and exciting. Got some paint splatters going on. That's not too bad. I'd probably say that's my favorite so far. And then we also have this one, which is like a colorless version, which actually I quite like as well. Hmm. Right after I said I don't really like liveries, this, this is not too bad. I'm actually going to go with this nice, bright livery for once. Let's just be a little different. And we've got 14 spoilers to choose from straight away so first of all we actually have the stock which is nothing then we have the fin remove which just gets rid of everything which actually that actually makes it look wider now that we don't have those things there as soon as you get that you just notice just how wide this thing is i actually think that looks really nice without the spoiler but we do have the carbon street spoiler oh it does look nice though does it nice very big weave on that carbon fiber oh Oh dear, 2019 content, guys. Gotta love that texture quality. So we have the primary street spoiler, which has the rim paint on there as well. We also have that in carbon. Oh, this is the race one this time. Uh, then we also have that. And then we have the competition one in these two different colors. We have the carbon big wing. Not too sure on that one at all. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's ridiculous. And then we have the low mount spoiler. We have the wide spoiler. And that is that done. I am not too sure, but I quite like the look of this one, especially because it's the rear mounted style one, which I'm always a big fan of. So I think I'm going to go for that in a primary color, just so we can get that little extra bit of livery showing there. Onto the skirts. I'm curious to see if we do. Yes, we do. We have the primary color. That really changes it. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, I just want to go ahead and check through these liveries again. Okay, so yeah, that stripe is bigger than what we saw. And also we have the Germanic stripes, which were completely hidden last time. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks a little bit better without that whole carbon fiber bit at the bottom. Yeah, that's not too bad. Then we have on the exhausts. Where are the exhausts? Where where are they? 
Oh, they're at the top, aren't they? They're here. So we have the stock, then we have the... Ooh. Wait, is this going to move them down to the... Okay, right. So that does actually smooth that bit, which I think does look nicer, to be honest. And then it moves these down to here. Not too sure about the titanium tips, but whatever. We also have the dual exhausts. We have the dual rounds. We have the dual titaniums. And then we have the quads. Uh, I mean, if we're going for, like, hypercar craziness, especially with this mad colorway... Maybe the quads, it's either that or we go for just the standard jewels. Okay, I'm going to go with quads on this one just because it looks pretty mad already. This definitely looks like some sort of like influencer's car, like something you'd see on DDE with a crazy wrap on it or something. So that's probably the theme for this one. Then we have on the hood, is this going to be front or rear? Oh, it's actually front. Okay, so we have the stock, then we have that in carbon. Then we have the stripped one, which just completely gets rid of the... Okay, I'm not really too sure on the stripped look. We also have that in carbon, and then we have the primary hood with the carbon vent. I don't like that look. To be honest, I think the stock looks best. Then we can go ahead and upgrade the engine, upgrade the brakes, upgrade the transmission. Check out an extra, which we definitely won't see. I don't know what any of these extras are ever adding. Nothing ever changes. Oh, I've just noticed, though, we are indicating left this time. Nice. I mean, at this point, it's almost guaranteed that I'm going to be indicating some direction in my videos. We should start having bets on this. <laughs> Seems like it is the casino update. Should I be promoting gambling? Maybe not. Okay, so let's add the turbo and let's go ahead and I think that the paint color I went for actually turned out to be great and matched that livery perfectly. Yeah, everything else. I mean, the black actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, everything else looks kind of weird. So yeah, I think Midnight Silver or Stone Silver looks best with this color of livery. Actually, it all worked out. Perfect. As for the wheels, uh, I don't know. I never know what wheels to pick with a supercar, to be honest. I normally like to go for something like this because they are racing star wheels with the center cap thing, the center lock. Actually, these wheels do look quite nice. Okay, I'm going to go for these then, and I might even keep them black, or maybe I'll try and get them matching one of the colors on the livery. Okay, what if I matched it with the blue? Hmm... I definitely think an influencer slash, you know, like a supercar YouTuber or something, I'm sure they would do something like that. That That's the theme. That's the theme I'm doing with this one. Like a DDE theme. What if DDE uh, uh, had owned this car? That's that's my style. Uh, we'll lower this down a little bit. These wheels are actually pretty small for these arches. They do look a little lost. So maybe I'll just increase the size of the wheels. Let's see how that goes. Not too bad, actually. So we'll lower that down a little bit. We'll probably have to tuck these in because they are a little bit wide now. And there we go. There is our influencer style supercar with a crazy livery going on. It's not too bad. Which sounds pretty nice. Well, I'm supposed to be doing another build now, so I actually don't know what to do with this one because I'm I've pretty much just exhausted the only idea I had for this car. But let's just quickly try another one. Seems like we've got some time left. Okay, so when in doubt, start it out, I guess. <laughs> I I, just, I decided to go with this look. I just wanted to go for some sort of like tasteless style, like super rich, exotic style look that I'm sure, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have seen a Veyron that had this. So for this sort of like Bugatti style car, it matches perfectly. And I went for these wheels as it's just, I don't know, there's something about them that just sort of, it feels like they work with this car. And then I decided to camber it a little. <laughs> I, I, I will say, I actually really like this one. I, I think it looks all right. This one, I'm not so sure. I also went for the completely spoilerless look. I don't know what to think about that one. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below which ones of these two you prefer right here. I know which one I prefer, so I'm going to get out and go back into the other one again. That does look kind of mad. Completely slammed to the ground though, but I think this one is uh, is more of a winner. So there we go, we'll leave that one behind. But that is it for this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please let me know for rating, commenting, subscribing. Let me know what you think between those two cars. Or maybe what you would do with yours, would you have done yours differently? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have watched the entirety of this video, you can say uh, pine cones in the comment section below. Pine cones. Why not? That's based on a joke that I had on my Twitter the other day. And in fact, if you are not following me on Twitter, you can at figure eight. Links for my Twitter are always in the description below. But there we go, guys. That is it. Thank you so much. More cars coming soon, I'm sure. I don't know what order I'm going to be posting these videos as I'm recording them. But uh, there's always going to be content coming, so keep an eye out on the channel. But that's it. I'll see you guys next time.
Goodbye.